everyone. Today we're going to be learning about strings and console output. Uh, firstly, I will start by telling you what a string is. A string is just a set of characters put together. These characters can be numbers, letters, spaces, uh, plus, minus, any operator, and there are even some special characters which we will get onto later hopefully. So to start we will just follow this uh, example. So it's wanting us to make a new variable but this time the variable should be a string. This means that we need to put characters into the variable. Therefore we need to make a string. So it wants us to call it Brian and to assign its equal, as we know. And then, because it's a string, we have to put it in quotations. Um, this is because if you don't put it in quotations, it's going to count as another variable, so it, you would be telling the computer to assign Brian as uh, another variable, but this isn't what we want to do. What we want to do is actually put a set of letters or characters into Brian. So let's save and submit the code and see if this is correct. As you can see, yes, this is correct. Let's move on. So now let's do some practice. Um, it's asking us to make Caesar, I think, to be Graham. Uh, Praline to equal John and Viking to equal Teresa. Oops. And then what the print is going to do is just show this to the console output, as you will see. So we're telling it to print Caesar, and the value of Caesar is gram, therefore it's going to print gram. We're telling it to print praline, or sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, and the value of praline is John, so therefore it prints John. The same goes for Viking, it prints Teresa. So let's move on. So this is now talking about some of the few special characters because if you want to use a quote a quotation symbol inside the string then you have to protect it because otherwise it's counting it as a string from where your first quotation uh, mark is to where that quotation mark is for example if you want to say this is a quote and you want to quote something here, then you can't because this is going to be out of the actual string and it's going to give you an error. So to do this we have to do a backwards slash like this. And then it's going to be protected. You have to do a backwards slash in every uh, quotation mark that's inside the string. And this uh, backward slash will not actually be printed in the, in the console output, as you will see. So let's actually do the example. So to fix this, we just need to put a backward slash there, and it should be fine. Yes. Let's move on. So a string could also be defined as a list of characters. This means that you can treat a list, a string, sorry, as a list. Therefore, you can access any of the letters in different ways. So, uh, what it's asking us to do here is make a new string called Monty, I believe. No, to equal to the 
fifth letter of Monty. So, um, let's see. So it wants us to create a string and then just print out the fifth letter. But because this is a computer, counting starts from zero. Therefore, the fifth letter would be would actually be the fourth, as you can see here. Is this dozen? I don't know why this is, but I know that in every language that it's like this, and it still works if you if you do it properly. So let's see if this is correct. No. So let's see where we went wrong. Uh, it does it? It might want us to just print out the fifth index. No. Okay. Um. So Line 13 assign the variable fifth letter equal to the fifth letter of the string Monty. So, so it might just want us to do this and then just print. So, yeah. So to solve this, you would have to do this. Although, in an actual program, it, you would be correct by saying that by just printing this. Because that would always print uh, T. So, I mean Y. So let's move on. Let's see some of the string methods. Um, so let's create a variable called parrot and set it to be a string. And the string's value should be Norwegian blue. Let me just make sure. Have a spell it like this. Okay. Oops. Then here we need to find out the length of the parrot. Now, what length does is it gives you how long the string or list is. It includes the zeroth index as well. So, therefore, this the length of this whole thing would be. One, two, three, four, five, because blank spaces are also a character. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So therefore, this should actually print out fourteen. Let's see what else it wants us to do. Okay, that's all it wants us to do. So let's see. Yeah. So fourteen. Next. Uh, you can also modify strings in different ways. So, for example, if you have a string that's all uppercase and lowercase letters, for example, like this, and you want to compare to see how many A's there are, but you don't care if they're lowercase or uppercase A's, you just want how to know how many A's there are, you don't have to do if uh, I don't know, letter, let's just do an example, equals A, or letter equals A. You can just do if letter dot lower equals A, and this is more efficient than doing it the other way. So what dot lower is does is just puts the whole string into lowercase characters for the letters. So what it wants us to do here is print parrot dot lower, which should print print Norwegian blue, all in lowercase letters. So let's see, which it does. So let's move on. The next thing is just the exact same, except for that instead of putting it into lowercase, it makes it into uppercase. So print parrot dot upper should have the effect of printing the region 
well into all uppercase as you can see here so let's move on um, so for uh, if you want to get an input from a user this input is always going to be a string uh, and this is fine if you're using strings but if if you want an input from the user for example if you want them to input a number then you can't use this number to do any calculations because it's going to be in a string so to convert this string into a an integer or a float or a double you would have to do something like this and then user input this would convert the string into an integer if it's only numbers uh, here the example that it's giving us is converting a number into a string so say I don't know for some reason you have a number that you don't want it as an actual number but you want it as a string then you can do this so let's see what the task wants us to do so we should create a variable called pi which is 3.14 and then in line and we should print string pi uh, we won't notice a change here if we print it just pi but if you want to make pi into a string you can just do this so string pi and now pi will be a string instead of a uh, float so let's move on to the next uh, section um, okay So on line three, it wants us to find out the length of the string called ministry, and on line four, we it wants us to make all of the whole string into uppercase. So to do this, it explained uh, previously, we just do ministry dot upper. Uh, don't forget to put the parentheses at the end because without those it doesn't work, it gives you an error because dot upper is a function which is made by Python so otherwise it doesn't work also annoyingly uh, you don't do uh, ministry dot length but you do length and in the parentheses you put ministry I don't know why, it's just the way it is so let's see if this is correct Okay. Um, I think I might have just misspelled that. Yes. So as you can see, it prints the length, so how many characters there are, including the spaces, and then it prints the whole string as uppercase. So thank you for watching this video, and in the next video I will show you how to do. Uh, more on console output and print. So until then, bye and thank you for watching.